What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Mythic Heroes, and today we're going to be talking about this week's patch. Uh, brings a couple kind of big changes to the game, not exactly a big fan of them, I'm still waiting for some good like, you know, actual content coming out, but there's one big thing to talk about which is probably in the thumbnail, and that's turning skins in this game into pay to win skins now the main reason i think a lot of us picked up this game over other ones like afk arena or other ones like that you need to spend a lot more on to stay competitive was that it had a lot less pay to win features there's still the pay to win aspect of it of course like any idle mobile gotcha game but it had a lot of the things that really irked the player base the most. It, it didn't include those. And it seems like there's a couple things they've been changing here and there that have become worse value over time. They've made adjustments to make things worse instead of better. And now they're making things like this where skins are actually going to have a bigger effect on the game. Now, there are some other good changes coming as well. It's not all negative. There's more hero fixes coming our way too. So that's really good but we're gonna have to see they have it sounds like they have new gameplay features coming out very soon as well so we got to keep an eye out for that but let's go over a couple things here because i just want to kind of go through the patch notes and talk about the good the bad and the ugly <laughs> Okay, so we have patch notes for version 1.6.5. It says, welcome, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, more PvP and PvP modes to engage you through Ascending Realm is what's going to be coming in the future, but that's something that's going to come after this as far as topics go. Of course, we have the brand new skin here. Now, one thing to note is, let me just pop this up real quick. We do see that they are minor upgrades, so they're only getting like 2% HP, 2% crit damage. It's not a lot, but... Uh, the fact that pay to win skins are coming to the game is not something I like. I believe they even said older skins are going to be getting stats as well. So just be prepared. Let's just get through the patch notes and not try to harp on that too much. So Valentine's Day is here. They have a seven day check in event in game. Again, we have that right here. Uh, and sadly, that's it. I was expecting more for Valentine's Day with only a seven day check in event. Plus, of course, you have your. Uh, where is it? Where's the other one? Um, the event center. All just to have the hero puzzles. Like we need more dynamic events that don't require tons of spending. To be honest, that's one thing we really need. Uh, but yeah, all we do is that you get some skin vouchers, although it still doesn't come anywhere near to being able to afford them because you're basically getting what from the uh, from the login event. You're getting thirty total. It costs how many to actually get skins? I mean, we can go to the actual store itself scroll on over to fashion it takes 100 some of the older ones are 50 uh yeah so you're gonna have to save up quite a bit across events just to afford one pay to win skin now again you have the hero puzzle it's a cool way to get ssr heroes i like this puzzle event but i'd like to see more events like it in a rotation that we can get more rewards in it just feels kind of stale what the events are right now so i'm hoping they have more coming uh one thing that i will say is a really good change is new hero event changes are coming treasure boxes will no longer refresh daily and will now accumulate over the whole event making it easier to open all the reward chests there have also been more optimization adding to this event to streamline the process now the one thing i will say that's good so long as every chest has seven days worth of rewards in it and they don't just make it 120 chest and that's just like the same rewards as before if they're gonna make it not refresh daily they absolutely need to make sure you're getting 12 or seven times reward so i think one of them chests has like five shard copies it better have 35 copies or 35 shard pieces out of the the 60 you need to summon the hero that will be a good change if that is it because that way people can save up across the week and get everything instead of doing like 10 or 20 a day so hero divinity we've added a slider to the menu inside the heroes divinity menu this should help navigation between heroes and lessen the amount of time spent moving between heroes um i think what they mean there is when you actually come into your heroes here and you come into divinity and i think when you come into here you can now jump between heroes straight from this list right here instead of kind of bouncing all over the place i did not even realize she was not finished whoops 
we'll have to fix that issue. Um, but yeah, that's a cool change. Any little quality life things are amazing. Hero skin attributes says again, attributes have now been added to all existing skins and future skins. So we can actually go back into the shop real quick. Come on over to fashion and we can take a look. You can see now Zeus is going to get plus 2% attack. Iodun is getting 2 defense and 2 attack speed. Oberon, 2 HP, 2 attack speed. We have uh, Persif. Oh, I, I never say her name. 2 attack and 2% crit. And then we have Hades, 2 defense. So it's not like big stats, but I personally I feel like that's just a tester and then as time goes on we're going to see them being more and more important if they don't become higher statted down the line then I'm I guess this is a good middle ground eh, maybe we'll see um extra changes so battle pass optimization primary rows in the battle pass will now be highlighted that's just a visual thing um one thing I, I don't like about the battle pass is the fact that they've actually changed a lot of stuff in the past. Uh, they've lessened what you actually get out of this, I think, right? One, two, three, four. So you, you used to get a full 60 shards of your heroes in the hero pass. Now, after their most recent change, you only get 48, which means you don't even get a full hero copy in an entire hero pass that kind of sucks and that's what i'm talking about those little thing the little things add up they just like well that kind of irks the player base that one does too is one thing we got to be prepared about dynamic avatars we've added dynamic avatars they're currently available through events all new heroes will receive a dynamic avatar so again that one here is going to be talking about the avatars we have up the top here um, I guess they're going to be like animated ones, essentially, if you really want to. I, I, that's my guess. That's, that's what I imagine we're going to start seeing. And then the Divinity skill, Tenacious, has received an update to the description to better match what the skill is. No actually thing happens. It's just increases. It went from increases all shield strength by 20% to whenever this hero obtains a shield, they increase it. So if you have an Athena on your team, she gives you a shield that stat will actually work whereas before it made it sound like if you're providing shields you're the one that's getting that so a little bit there now there are some hero fixes and changes but just about every single one of them are just fixes to abilities that were not working uh new as ultimate where it would not last a set amount of time it would cancel early uh i set fix the bug where the ability purification I man she's just been bugged to like hell and back again this is it's been rough with her. It hasn't been working good. Now, Naga received some actual changes here. Naga was already one of the best healers, and it seems like she got more buffs. So her passive Aqua Favor has been fixed. Fixed. Increasing healing effects were mistakenly stacking twice, and the excess healing conversion to a shield was lower than expected. Her healing ability has been adjusted from 1518 to 1520. So increased in healing effects were mistakenly stacking twice. Huh, that's interesting. Now, his ultimate blessing of rain has received a small buff during the time the ultimate is active. She will receive more healing. Uh, I don't, I don't know why she got buffed personally because she's like one of the best healers in the game. Okay, uh, Medusa skill venomous snake has been fixed again. Another fix. The description said it removed 30 40 percent energy from its target, but only removed 20 to 30. Okay, fix Flora's blooming magic passive. Once Flora has used an active skill two times, her auto attack is meant to deal additional damage. Uh, the ability was basing extra damage off of missing health and now fixed with passive description. Okay, that's fine. GM's second ultimate health regeneration has been fixed. So <laughs> she's going to be even stronger. Okay, Hades. Now, Hades is one I feel like could use a buff. Shadow Shield ability has been fixed previously. The ability gave his shields a lower than expected value. So that'll make him tankier. Uh, TM fixed a bug where her Phantom Dash could sometimes be triggered off an ally or her own skill buff. That sounds like a nerf then. <laughs> uh, that means she's not going to be zipping around as much, I feel like. So she got a nerf because of a bug fix. Cassandra's passive Guardian Spirit has been fixed. It was not receiving da or reducing damage for allies according to the percent in the description. Wow, that's a big buff then if that's working as properly. Uh, Joan of Arc. There was a scenario where Joan's ultimate ability would cause her ultimate to last forever if she was alone on the battlefield or with one ally. Huh. Okay. So they buffed it because they fixed it. 
interesting and lastly we have anubis ultimate causes him to grow in size and receive a buff to his maximum health for eight to ten seconds however once this timer expired his size would decrease to normal but his health buff was lasting longer than expected so that's a nerf then yeah, that's a nerf. They brought it down. And then, of course, the future of Mythic Heroes. I know you all want to know what is coming next for Mythic Heroes. Where are the new gameplay features? When are they going to be coming with new chapters for the campaign? All these questions will be answered very soon, but not today. We're working hard for an in-depth write-up completed to inform you of all the changes. So, um, okay. I mean, buffs, nerfs, hero skin attributes. I mean, let me know what you guys think. Uh I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it personally. It's why I picked this game because it has less pay to win features compared to other ones. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you're new here, hit that subscribe one and I'll see you guys next time.